Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Today I'm here to talk about some of the mistakes that I have made and some I'm still making on my YouTube channel. I've been a YouTuber for three months now and these are some of the things that I have come up with. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Travis. Let's get started. The first thing I tried to do was doing variety content. Doing content for different people, you know, doing different things and trying to find my niche. So doing different kind of videos. And what I realized was that I had to focus on one particular niche in order to be successful on YouTube. I had to stop going, being all over the place, doing a video on ties one day, recovery one day, homelessness one day. I had to start focusing and really looking at the niche that I was doing. I think I'm doing a little better with that today than I was at first, but it's still a work in progress. One of the other things I was putting a lot of stress and still am a little bit today on myself in terms of looking at my numbers, always looking at the amount of subscribers I had, the amount of views I had, looking at it 15 to 20 times a day and seeing that number not moving or just moving just a little bit is very frustrating. You know, looking at other people's list of subscribers and views that they had opposed to my own. I've done a lot better at focusing now more on my own because my pace is my pace, my views are my views, and my subscribers are my subscribers. So I've stopped going up against and looking at other people's um, subscriber amounts and view amounts. And I've also stopped on a daily basis, 15 to 20 times a day, looking at my own because that just brought stress to me because I was not progressing the way that I thought that I should be. When I first started off, I wanted to copy other styles of people that had millions of subscribers and comparing myself to them and not realizing and understanding that they had to go through a process of growth just like I'm going through. And it's unrealistic for me to expect to come in here and jump all the way from square zero up to somebody that got 1 million, 2, 3 million subscribers. So I had to focus on myself and my journey a little bit more. And I think I'm doing a little bit better with that. But that's still a work in progress also. I'm really trying to work harder on thumbnails, titles, and the ideals. I'm not a great editor. I never edited anything before. <laughs> And I'm just learning how to do that process. I don't have a team. I don't have another person working with me. Everything I'm doing, I'm doing myself. So I have to work harder on getting better thumbnails and making better content and better titles and ideals. And that can be very stressful. So if each video I get a little bit better at just one thing, then I'm making progress. So that's what I'm focused on today progress and not perfection. I'm trying to get better at scheduling. I know it's very important to have a schedule so your audience can pretty much have an idea of when you're posting. If they don't have notifications on, they have to know when it is you're posting. So I'm trying to be a little bit more flexible with my schedule because I do have a full-time job. I'm not doing this full-time. So I have to say, if I want to post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I need to put that on my community post so that my subscribers will know the times that I'm posting. I'm trying to get a little bit more flexible with doing that also. Another thing I am trying to get better with, because the last couple of months I've been doing this, I kind of felt a sense of entitlement. I kind of felt a sense of YouTube owes me something. YouTube doesn't owe me anything. I owe myself the effort to try to do the best I can on this journey. I don't want to start something and half do it. I've never tried to half do anything in my life. And this is brand new to me, but I have to put that same effort into it than I would anything else. And not be entitled and not expect anything from YouTube. 
I'm going to get out of this journey what I put into it. It's that simple. I have to start communicating more with my audience. I have to start using the communication board and start putting things on the community post. Even though I don't get a lot of comments on my videos, I was waiting for those opportunities for commenting to interact with them, but I need to interact with them more than just answering their comments. I need to write community posts. I need to let them know what I'm doing. I need to let them know what kind of videos to expect coming out. And I need to do that on a regular basis so my audience can get to know me. I have not yet started trying to collaborate with other YouTubers. My personal feeling is I felt like I needed to get a little bit better at my craft and doing what I needed to do, you know, to make better videos and better content before I started reaching out, trying to work with other people. I know some people suggest to try to do that at the beginning. I'm not at that point yet where I feel like I can do that, but I do think that it's a good idea overall to collaborate with other people so you can learn from them, they can learn from you, and y'all can grow in this journey together. And I'm trying to work on my patience. And for me, patience is the ability to go through waiting periods without complaining or becoming angry. And I've been doing both on this journey and I really need to work on that. You know, I cannot expect everything to happen and come overnight. My results are gonna be my results. You know, and if I'm not getting the results I feel like I need to get, then I need to start polishing up some things and try to put forth an effort that says, I want this kind of results. Learning the YouTube program. I need to learn how YouTube works. I need to learn more about how the algorithm works. I need to learn how to go on and look at my analytics, what they mean, what do I need to be focused on, where's the retention. I need to learn more about the algorithm. If I want to be successful at YouTube, I can't come in here and be successful at YouTube and not learn about YouTube. Anything in my life that I wanted to be successful at, any program, any job, anything that I had, I went in there and tried to learn all I needed to know about it. YouTube's the same way. I have to learn about YouTube. And I am working on that on a daily basis. I am trying to learn at least one thing from YouTube every other day at least that I did not know before. If you liked anything I said in this video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and I hope this helps some new YouTubers to try not to make the mistakes that I have made, and I hope it was some teaching in here, because that's all I made this video for, is to try to help other people. That's what my channel's all about. Thank you. Have a good day.